Hey people, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title, I am going to be shaving my face. I know. Um, so I am quite hairy. I don't know if you guys can see, you know, all the lights kind of block out the hair. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in. I have literally zoomed you guys in way too close. These are like my insecurities. I'm going to shave my face on YouTube for you guys. So as you guys can see, um, I am quite hairy um, in my, near my, um, what do you call it, near my sideburn area. I like to keep my sideburns quite natural, I don't want it like all shaved off. So, but you guys can see I've got hair around here and my chin and for some reason my hair just joins from the back to here. So, and I got a bit of hair around my upper lip. And of course my eyebrows. You guys can see like, oh my god, my eyebrows. I got this done like last week, Saturday, I think. And it's already gone. So I tend to get this hairiness from my jeans from my dad because my dad's side is quite hairy and you won't believe it. My dad is bold and hairy everywhere else. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my tips out there. I know people say shaving is bad. Number one, does it hurt? No. And people think that it grows thicker. Come on, we shave our legs and our hands. Does it grow thicker? No. Actually, it becomes softer. That's why I believe like I tend to shave my hands and every time my hair grows back, it's quite soft and thin. So I don't think it grows uh, thicker but if you shave uh, the opposite direction to hair growth maybe it might be a bit thicker and you might get like um, ingrown hair so if you don't know how to um, shave your face well that's why I created this video for you guys how often do I do it um, so my facial hair kind of grows quite slow compared to my eyebrows so uh, my face if I shave um, it will last me about a week or two uh, but if I thread my face it will last me a month so when I go on holiday when I'm not bothered to do this I just go to the salon and get my uh, face threaded which is so painful and, and I tend to get spots like tiny tiny spots everywhere and it becomes red and I get spots and it will take me about two days to calm me down like calm my face down and this is like my lifesaver when it comes to threading um, and I get my upper lip waxed um, I don't tend to shave it but I wax it off uh, when I first used to start shaving my face I used to use one of these um, little small blades for facial hair oh it's a bit bad on camera so it looks like something like this um i think you can get like five for a pound or something like that but then um i moved on to cute little razors oh my god look at the packaging it's super cute and it comes in baby pink light purple and like a light green color like all pastel colors if you open the box up these are super convenient compared to this one because this does not fit in my makeup bag and this is like a travel size one i think it was uh seven pounds on amazon prime so this is how it looks like and you can open it like this so it becomes oh, so it's quite the same size as the yellow one but it's more convenient because you can put it in your makeup bag so yeah so benefits of shaving is like you're exfoliating your skin uh, and you are removing all your dead cells so this will make trust me when you put foundation on it will glide on your face and it will look really nice somewhat it's like a facial for your uh, face that's how I like to think of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pastel green color one what you need to remember is <clears throat> wash your face and when you shave uh, pull your skin because I have chubby cheeks and I don't want to be cutting any skin and uh, shave downwards not the opposite way downwards because if you do opposite way your hair will come thicker and you might 
um, cause irritation and ingrown hair as well. So I'm just going to pull my skin like this and shave. I can't talk and shave at the same time, so yeah. So I'm just gonna start from here. Be careful, the blade is quite sharp. Can you guys see? Oh my god. So you guys can see my hair is just falling off. And um, if you see on the, on the blade here, you will see like small fluff and um, dead skin as well. And I think uh, one of the other benefits of shaving is it makes your um, skin a bit lighter as well because all this dark uh, hair is making your skin a bit dark. Don't rush, just take your time. With uh, my um, sideburns, I want to keep it natural, like I said before, so I'm just going to keep it um, natural shape, like that. And then, especially in my cheeks, I need to pull the skin. feels so soft well you can feel um, when you're doing this it doesn't hurt but you can kind of feel like a tinglish feeling so that's fine that's because your um, new skin is being exposed and your dead skins are gone I'm just looking if my eyebrows are like matching. I mean, my sideburns are matching. So I'm just shaving my eyebrows. Convenient. I'm just going to quickly shape them, but be really careful. You don't want to be cutting your eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, I can like see dead skin coming off. You need to have really patient and gentle hands with this. And the middle bit. By doing the middle bit, it makes a huge difference. Be really careful. I'm just trying to give a shape to my eyebrows. I'm quite scared for a razor down my under my eyebrow, so I'm just going to pluck that quickly. When I was on holiday in Sri Lanka uh, in April, I went to a store called Cool Planet and I found this amazing tweezers. I mean, you wouldn't expect to find great tweezers there. I think, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was about <clears throat> 500 rupees. And this is how it looks like. If you guys are living in Sri Lanka and if you're looking for a good tweezers, get this, <laughs> get this. I think it was about 500 rupees. Uh, so that's like um, three pounds um, in UK money. And so yeah, so this is 500 rupees if I can't remember. Oh no, sorry, it's here. It's 395 pounds. Uh, 395 rupees so this is how it looks like and it's called combo tweezers basic care super good because this one I'll show you this tweezers this is how it looks like quite you know fancy and look at the tip of that tweezers you can grab the tiniest hair on your face from this tip. Look at that. So I'm just quickly going to pluck my hair. And what I like to do is I like to lift it up and then pluck all the tiny ones. It doesn't even hurt with this one. Can you see? It just takes off everything so smoothly. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug everything off off camera and I'll be back. So I am back and you guys can see my um, eyebrows are looking on point. I have like a tiny hair here which I need which needs cutting which I'll do later on so you guys can see my uh, skin is glowing right now like I look lighter now you've got your new layer of skin so you need to be really careful and um, if I was you I would uh, avoid putting makeup on right now uh, I will let your skin sit uh, for the rest of the day if it's the first time shaving your face in case you have some sort of reactions uh, but for me when I shave my face I don't I don't usually get reactions but when I do thread my face I get loads of reactions so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, right after I um, shave my face I'm going to put some skin toner put any toner that you have but I personally like to put uh, rose water spray that into my face and let that sit on your face for a bit oh it's such a nice refreshing feeling so, um, pat that to my skin you can I mean I can kind of like you you might experience like a tiny tingly feeling like I said before and um, that's because um, it's a fresh layer of skin what I like to do next is to avoid any irritation um, I like to put some organic um, aloe vera gel you can find this in super drop boots anywhere and um, the organic one cost a bit more but then it's better to put organic aloe vera gel in your face so I think this one was about 10 pounds I believe I can't remember but I'll put all the pricing and the link into that in the description box below so I'm just going to take a tiny bit slowly massage it upwards with my moustache area I don't like to shave it um, I like to wax it so that's why I left that bit so this is what I do like um, every other week the organic um, aloe vera kind of have a little smell to it which I don't like. Um, it has that little, um, it has like a pharmacy smell, if you guys know what I'm on about. It smells like a pharmacy. So you guys can see my skin looks like super smooth, light and glowing. I mean, I am not an expert, but this is what I do to get rid of my facial hair. If you are someone uh, with the extremely sensitive skin, I do not recommend this in case you might have like allergic reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well and share this uh, tips and tricks with your friends as well. So thank you for joining and see you in the next video.